Hey guys, welcome back to Lab Cyber. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe wherever you are. Today's video is going to be a response to a question I got from one of my students on Udemy. And you can see this is the question right here from Bupendra. And he says, uh, my question is whether hackers use hacked databases available across the internet. I received an email in spam, which says that we have your password for email account and we have all your information. And surprisingly, the password given there was one of my old passwords. So Bupendra is understandably very concerned and he wants to know exactly what this is all about. Should he be worried? What should he do? The good news here is that this is all a scam. And what's even better for Bupendra in this case is that one of the passwords written down in the email was one of his old passwords, which he no longer uses. Now, if you do get such an email and the password listed in that email was actually one of your current passwords, then obviously I don't need to tell you, you need to change your password. But even if that was the case, even if they indicated one of your current passwords, you're still not under any immediate threat. Let me explain. See, let me open up my uh, Brave browser right here and just show you some information in here. All right. This was an article I pulled from Forbes and this was from last year and it says new dark web audit reveals 15 billion stolen logins from 100,000 breaches. So here's the thing. We have data breaches all the time. Websites, massive websites get hacked. Facebook recently got hacked and millions of accounts were leaked. All right. What happens is whenever you have these massive data breaches, the hackers behind the data breach will go onto the dark web and they will sell the data. They will say, hey, you know, we have access to 500,000 uh, login details. Give us $20,000 and we'll give you all the information. So you have all these, uh, how would I call them, consumers, retailers, who would actually buy access to these breaches, to this data, the data involved in the breaches, okay? And then what they will do is, is that they'll begin to send out uh, spam emails en masse. Once they're able to match the email address and a password, okay? They will send that person an email saying, hey, we have access to all your information and you know, to prove it, here's the password that you used to use and so on, things like that. Now, here's the thing. Many times, these data breaches are actually released for free. The data involved will actually be eventually released for free, why? See how valuable a data breach is or the data involved in a data breach is depends on how recent that data breach was. Because here's the thing, when Facebook got hacked and millions of accounts were exposed, a lot of people took the precaution and they changed their passwords. Same thing goes with other kinds of websites being massively breached. The website will probably inform people that, hey, look, you know, we've been breached, we've been hacked, please change your password, things like that. So most people will begin to change their passwords and things like that. So what happens eventually is that after a few days go by, the value of that data involved in the data breach begins to diminish because most people will no longer be compromised as a result because they begin to take action, right? So eventually at some point, maybe after like a week or so, no one wants to buy that list anymore because it's old, it's no longer fresh. So the hackers who originally were involved in that data breach will say, you know what? There's no point in us holding on to this any longer. Let's just release it for free on the dark web. So many times, all the data involved in these massive data breaches eventually get released for free. So what happens is these kinds of people who send emails to people like Gupendra saying, hey, you know, we have access to all your information. In most cases, they probably waited until such data was released for free, got access to the data, and then they will simply match the usernames and the email addresses and passwords and then they will send out the emails uh, in mass. Notice Bopendra said he got it in a spam. So it's all spam email. It's not like they're targeting you specifically saying, hey, you, but you, we know who you are. Here's one of your passwords, blah, blah, blah. No, they will send out the email in mass, spam emails, and then they would hope that one or two people might get afraid and like, you know, give them what they want, pay them money and things like that. So it's all a scam. Do not be concerned about uh, such emails if you do receive them. And let me also show you one other article I got in here, also from Forbes. And it says right here, hacker gives away 386 million stolen records on the dark web. So you see, it happens all the time. First of all, they will get access to the data. They will sell it for a while. And then after a while, after a while once that breach has become old news, they will release all the information for free. 
on the dark web. Okay, so don't be concerned if you receive such an email, it's all a scam. Now, with that being said, I have talked about this tool before in the past, but let me just talk about it again because it's very, very uh, relevant to the topic. It's called haveibeenpawned.com, uh, pawned without an A. It's one of the best tools for uh, people on the internet because with this tool, you can search and discover whether or not your email address has been compromised in a data breach. You can even check to see if your passwords have been compromised. As an example, if I go right in here right now and I add my Gmail, okay, and then I say, all right, have I been pawned? You will see right now that indeed, I have been pawned in seven data breaches. And you can see them right here, Apollo, Canva, uh, Chegg, Nitro, River City Media Spamless, which I have no idea how <laughs> my email got in that list, and then Sendbird and then share this. So these were the seven companies that were involved in a massive data breach. And it just so happens that my email address or email account was uh, included in the databases because I prob probably use uh, the services. So in this case right now, I'm not concerned because it doesn't matter my, my, my password. I've changed it several times before, so I'm not really concerned about that at all. If I was to go over here to passwords, okay, and I was to add my password right now, like one of my actual passwords that I use, and I click on pond, Right now, you can say it says good news, no pawnage found. So my current password actually hasn't been hacked before. And that is the good news for me. So I have nothing to be concern concerned about. The best thing about this tool, though, is that if you go to notify me right here, all you need to do is to add your email address, confirm that you're not a robot. You will then get a confirmation email. Just confirm that you want to be notified should in case your email address gets compromised in a data breach. It's a fantastic, fantastic tool to use. So please uh, take full advantage of this uh, Have I Been Pawned tool. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Just wanted to let you know about this scam because a lot of people get scared. You know, it's one thing to get an email from somebody claiming that they have access to all the information. But it's quite another when they actually include one of your uh, passwords in the email as well. It can be very, very frightening and you might feel very, very vulnerable. But don't worry, it is all a scam. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions, comments, of course, put them down in the comment section below. Do share this video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.